Okay, so a while back, I went ahead and got myself this Amscape microscope with the double boom arm. And uh, uh, very shortly after arriving, it ran into issues with said boom arm. Uh, because these arms have had an issue for many years uh, where uh, the material they've used for the rod here is just uh, not a good enough quality, it's not a hard enough metal to actually support the microscope. And as a result of that, uh, combined with a bad bearing in this assembly, uh, my microscope is basically became unusable because the amount of force required to move it, uh, as well as the coarseness of the movement, uh, just makes it uh, unstable. It'll just shake violently if you try to use it at any speed. Uh, so, I contacted Amscape, they were very nice about it, and they sent me a replacement arm. And there's something interesting going on with this, because I think uh, this year, 2019, they finally figured out the issue, because this boom arm does not look to be made of the same chromed soft metal as the other one. This seems to be a completely different material, you can see the matte finish they have going on there. If we compare that to the very shiny chrome finish on the old one. So, we're going to be putting this together, installing the new arm, and seeing if it's actually got better materials. Uh, the bearings on this one don't sound fantastic uh, uh, either. There's some there's some grinding noises coming from that, but uh, the actual material on the arm might be better. And we're going to be able to tell that quite quickly uh, because of how uh, easily these uh, chrome arms uh, get uh, tracks on them. You can see that uh, this is just completely dented. It's got these lines running on it where the bearings rest. You can see it's really deep right there. And uh, hopefully, uh, this one is going to be better, and I would bloody well expect it to be, because this issue has been known for a bit about five years. Right, there we have the two rod arm assemblies uh, side by side, and you can really see the difference in the shine of the top rod going there, and the bottom rod as well. And I can confirm uh, that they are using different materials. Uh, I took this uh, normal... A screw bit and uh, scratched up the end there of the old one. You can see the scratches quite clearly. And I gave this one the exact same treatment. And you can see that's a very minor mark, but I really went at it. There's absolutely no comparing the two. Uh, this new rod is uh, a lot harder than the old one. I'm not sure if I can do this one handed. Yeah, I can dig into that and make more marks, making that completely ugly. But if I take that to this one, I'm really rocking that, really putting down a lot of force. And uh, aside from a bit of dirt and grime getting onto it, it's uh, looking brand new. So they have changed the material now. The next question is have they changed the dimension of this because another issue with these old boom arms is uh, this uh, ah, rod was undersized. It was actually ever so slightly too small so we get a lot of play uh, in uh, the bearings. So uh, we, we're gonna have to see that when we get this on our I'm suspecting this might, might still be undersized just uh, looking at it, but uh, we really can't tell until we've tried it. But they have changed the material, and that is a big thumbs up. I'm very happy to see that. Uh, and yeah, I should also point out, I'm not sure what the age difference between these two is, but uh, they're definitely using a different grade of material on the sliding part here, because you can see that's... Uh, quite clean in there. It's a bit corroded, a bit paint splashy, but generally 
looking fine. However, the new one has uh, seemingly inferior quality because there's a bunch of holes in the actual casting there. So that's either a manufacturing fluke or they're using a lower quality material in these parts in order to make up for the higher cost, significantly higher cost of a hardened boom arm. Uh, I don't mind at all because of a boom arm. Boom rod is a lot more important. You can also see the uh, uh, workmanship on here on the new one is not as good as the workmanship on the old one. That corner there is a lot cleaner and generally uh, this piece is a bit dirtier. Uh, all the white pieces are a bit coarser on the new one. But whether or not that, uh, that's just up to the Chinese manufacturing or an actual cost saving measure, I can't say. But uh, let's get the new one installed and see how it rides. Okay, we now have the new arm mounted. I can see the shiny old one. So how does this one ride? Still extremely costly. It's a better than the old one which was completely destroyed. But uh, I am not impressed with this. What's even more, or what is actually impressive is we have a tracking going on on the new hardened arm, uh, this line right here is where one of the balls of the bearings, one of the races slide, and uh, that is actually getting worse with every insertion. I can feel that with my nail. So the quality of the bearings they use is so poor that they're managing to uh, damage a hardened steel arm which is not impressive. I'm not happy with that. Uh, so, yeah. While they now do provide good quality hardened steel arms, the bearings in here are so bad that uh, they still damage them. So, yeah, I'm just not going to use this. I don't want to ruin my new arm. Just listen. If I'll bring the mic up close. Hope you heard that. You can I can hear my nail scraping over that deep deepening gouge in the hardened steel arm. Oh, that's that's disappointing. So yeah, I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and order some new bearings, and uh, hopefully, uh, with that modification, this is actually going to be serviceable. Oh man, I was I had high hopes, but. Uh, I guess you get what you pay for. They have remedied the major issue, and the major issue is the arm, like the boom. That's I, I I'm happy to see that. But uh, without fixing the bearings, uh, you really aren't getting too far. Uh, I have had <laughs> one of these microscopes at work, which uh, we've had for about two years, and that one actually had pretty decent bearings. It's lasted. Uh, for about two years now, uh, with the original soft metal arm, and uh, it's just now turning really bad. Uh, so it seems they've just dropped the quality of the bearings uh, since we got that one. And uh, that's caused more obvious issues with the uh, actual arms, arm rods, and uh, now it's even causing issues with the hardened steel rods. Ah. Bummer. And listen to the sound of this brand new bearing sliding on this brand new rod. Okay, so after shooting that segment, I took one of these bearings apart to uh, ironically have a look at them under the microscope and uh, Upon doing that, it becomes quite obvious what the issue is, and that's why the bearing race, the uh, shiny part there, is uh, very coarsely machined in these. Uh, so the balls have a lot of uh, uh, terrain to ride over, and since there's quite a bit of pressure on these uh, little tiny balls uh, holding the entire boom arm up, uh, that's of course going to result in tremendous pressure when everything just starts uh, 
uh, oscillating and bumping up and down due to the terrain just uh, vibrating down the length of the arm and moving the heavy microscope head up and down. So yeah, that's the cause of issue. That's why these manage to uh, score even the hardened metal rod. They're just not machined to a tight enough tolerance to work well on the application.